I'm Carolyn, and I'm a home health care assistant. I am definitely a hoarder. There's no question about it. I've let it get completely out of hand. There's stuff in the hallways. There's stuff on the stairwells. There's stuff everywhere. I've been able to sleep in the smaller bedroom in the back, but I have to climb over things in the hallway to come down to the bedroom. My name is Melissa, and Carolyn is my mom. There is about one path in her house from the doorway to the couch. And if you go anywhere else in the house, you have to climb over something. My name is Austin, and Melissa is my mom, and Carolyn is my grandma. Even though the living room is a mess, the kitchen just is insane. The stink is just horrible because there's rotten stuff just all over the place. Unfortunately, the way my mom gets most of her stuff is she steals it. I've caught her stealing stuff from us. Family members have caught her stealing stuff from them. Friends have caught her stealing stuff. We've caught her at the store stealing stuff. She just has to take things. My name is Tim. Melissa is my wife, and Carolyn is my mother-in-law. One time we went into a restaurant and ate and we left. Well, Grandma had taken the bowl that they serve and put it inside the styrofoam pack. And she took it outside and Austin opened it up and Austin's like, <laughs> Grandma, this isn't your bowl. What are you doing with it? We kind of laugh about it. Otherwise, we'd probably cry. I was always a hoarder, but I think when my husband was alive, he kind of coached me to try and keep things up better. And if I couldn't do it, then he helped me. Once he was gone, I kind of gave up. I loved him very much, and I acquired a lot more things after he passed away because I felt like that kind of filled the void. My name is Mike, and Carolyn's my mom. My dad would have an answer for all this, I'm sure. And we just load everything up and take it and junk it. I feel sad that my hoarding has caused so many problems in my family. You shouldn't have to watch your parents or your family members because you're afraid they're going to take something from your house. She's already violated our trust in taking things. At Thanksgiving, I told her, you're like cancer. I have to cut you out. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm Dorothy Brenninger. I'm a professional organizing expert, and I specialize in hoarding. Here's what I plan to accomplish. The whole house. Who thinks we can do it? I guess. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pretty squalid odor in the home. I can smell it from the curb when I walk up. We're starting in the kitchen because that is what I believe to be the most difficult place. Let's go in straight to the kitchen. I say the criteria is clear all this. Oh, wow. Is that great that your mother just says, oh, yeah. get rid of oh, it all? Yeah. I am completely shocked at how good she's doing. You are throwing your stuff away. I understand. What's that like? It's what more are you important thinking? that I have a family. It's more important you have a family. She's not running away. I, it really is the first time that I've seen a hoarder get into the thick of it and work like crazy. What wow. great work you're doing. <laughs> and I am absolutely elated. Tell me how your mother did. Awesome. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> South Fremont High. This is my class ring from 20 years ago. I didn't think I'd ever find it again.
Do you think your mom was hiding it and holding on to it because maybe she wanted the memories? I think she was. Ah, I would have given it to him years ago had I known it was there. When you tell me, I totally believe you. You might be safe keeping it and holding it because it's a great memory for your son or for yourself. But you know what? Your actions have trained them to think that you're keeping things. To keep it. To purpose. keep it. Because you either take it or keep it oh, because that's who you are. She lied. She flat out lied. She told me that she did not take my aunt's genealogy. And she flipping. It's right there. I'm Dr. David Cutts. I'm a psychologist and I specialize in obsessive compulsive disorder. Carolyn took some genealogy papers from family members. You know, their religion, I believe they're Mormon. I think it was just a, of all things, to take sort of the ultimate insult. You lied to me. What did I say? You said you didn't have the genealogy. You never took the genealogy. You didn't have it. And that file folder that was there, that's what it was. I only have the genealogy that I'm supposed to have. You have the originals. You steal from me! You steal from Mike! You steal from your brothers and sisters! I'm tired of it! I love you and I want you to get help! Don't you get that? I want you well, to you get, go get help! You go get the papers and let's look and see what they are. <sighs> just go get them. So we'll get the I mean, let's, yeah. just, let's get the papers and look and see what they are. That's fine, but I was, I explaining, I was explaining something else to you and all you can care about is those damn papers. Of them, and then I'll get the f out of your eye. You can don't... see exactly what it is. Right, right. And it's I the understand. The genealogy that right. they've been looking for. Right. There's some with holes punched in it right there, which tells me those are flipping originals. My mom took them, and then it's because that's. Let's see for just a sec. You do not get to touch them. You steal. Okay. You're a thief. This is what my mother sent me. No, this isn't. Your copies I've seen. When I you, I was a little girl. They came in a manila or a class envelope. Them. I have not left them in the class envelope. These are the things that I have had. I think, <laughs> I mean, I think that this is something that in, in a few days, in a few weeks, can be something that can help you grow and help you move forward but it is important to see how painful it is. Carolyn put it best that she feels like an onion that's being peeled and peeled, and now she's kind of at the part where it makes you cry. And I think that's the case for the whole family. I love you so much, and you don't show me. Get it. I love you too. <laughs> they need to let all the anger out. They need to yell at each other. They need to cry. They need to hug each other. I mean, all of that. Maybe in one more group hug with you guys, okay? We'll get in here. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's move on with this, okay? Is this all key? This is throwaway. Oh, okay. This is a bag that's throwaway. Don't mix, no, don't mix it up and put good stuff in bags or else it'll get accidentally thrown out. It's going way too fast. Okay, do you want to just it's like, hold you know, up for a second? It's like, okay, well, you know, can I see this stuff? No, I can't see it, I, it's just going. Carolyn does have a lot of anxiety. I think she's controlling it a lot. Um, whether that's good or not, I think is debatable. You're okay. You're okay. If you need to stop and say stop for a minute, just say stop. If it's going too fast, just say we need to slow down. We 
You gotta voice it or else they're not gonna know. I want you to stand right in here. All right. Find any soft stuff and throw it here. Okay. Keep bagging up the soft stuff. Fast, fast, fast. As fast as we can do it. You want to keep scissors or no? No. Throw it. Not salvageable. We're never going to get a girl, but. OK. Get rid of it then. I don't think that's worth no. saving to you. What do those look like on me? Not good? They make your hips a little wide. Too wide. Woo! Was I doing OK? No, you're doing fantastic. Oh. OK does not describe your work. <laughs> Great job. OK, thank you. All right, Genealogy. Part of the blow up yesterday was because of some genealogy books and some originals. And today, another four or five more original books have popped up. We're going to take them and get copies of them. OK. That will be great. The originals of everything. And you're welcome to take them and we'll make copies of them. We'll make photograph albums of them and good for me. I'm all good with it. Okay. Love you and I'm glad we're getting down to the real brass tacks here. I think it's been kind of an eye opener because she's been admitting that, yeah, I take things from you guys. I lie to you guys. And she's told me and my brother that she is sorry. It says, ask Can yourself, you... what have I learned from my experience? <laughs> Appropriate card, wouldn't you say? <laughs>such a big difference for Carolyn from how she was yesterday to today. We're gonna throw these cans out. They're not gonna be any good. All right. Not you. <laughs> today, she was ringing a cowbell. She was playing. She was throwing stuff onto the truck. She has totally transformed her behavior. What about this? It can go. This can be thrown out. One, two, three, here we go. Get rid of it. Whoa. Wow. Isn't that cool? Ho oh, ho, look at that, guys. How's that look? Oh. <laughs> so do you, do you get that we cleared the clutter so that other things, Can human be beings, important. could actually fit in? Exactly. The best blessing I have is my family. Pretty soon you can come to my house and maybe even spend a night sometime with Grandma. How would that be? Yeah. Because yeah, I'd love that. All right. With the proper support from her family and from professionals and, and with the right frame of mind, I think she can do well. And she's taken the first step. I mean, without a doubt, I have to give her that credit. I've gained a better understanding of what I have done that has hurt me. And so, so I promise them that I will, will not take their things. I don't want the grandkids to have that problem. I don't want them to think, oh, Grandma's just going to come and take something of ours. I don't want that ever to be a feeling. I don't want them to have that fear from me. for being a fan of hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.